Hey, it's Kelly. Welcome back to my channel where we talk all about gentle skincare and sometimes self-care. Now today I want to talk about retinol. Now back in January when I made my skincare trend predictions for 2023, I told you there was two ingredients that I thought were going to be really big. One was niacinamide and I have a video talking all about that. And the other was retinol. And I really do believe that retinol is one of those ingredients that can really streamline and simplify your routine, helping you to target multiple skin goals with just one ingredient or just one product. So today is all about retinol, when you should start it and what products to use. If you are so ready, give the video a big thumbs up and let's jump right in. So what's the best time to start retinol? Now there is no correct age at which you should start retinol. It's going to be different for everybody. Your skin and your body is individual. But generally speaking, in your mid to late 20s is when things start to change. You may notice your skin isn't behaving the same way as it did when you were younger. You uh, might start to notice some dullness on your skin, potentially a little bit of fine lines and wrinkles starting possibly around this age. And that is because your body is slowing down its skin cell turnover process. So it's not shedding dead skin cells as efficiently as it used to, which can lead to dull skin. It can also lead to issues with congested pores and with acne as well. And this is really the beginning of the process. I want to really emphasize that because your body slowing down these processes actually happens over a very uh, long period of time, decades in your life. It's just, it starts around this time. So when you might start to suspect some changes are happening in your body. Of course, as you start to progress the into your 30s, again, we're going to see some more changes with the skin. Your body is going to start to slow down its production of collagen and elastin. Now, these are the proteins that keep your skin really smooth and plump. And this is um, when these processes break down. This is actually when we start to see more of the fine lines and wrinkles. So I'm talking about a period of time between about 25 and 35 ish is when we're going to start to notice these changes. Now, what's so amazing about retinol is it actually signals to your skin to behave younger. It signals to your skin to speed up the skin cell shedding process, to speed up the stimulation of collagen and elastin. And that's how it fights the uh, signs of aging and the fine lines and wrinkles. Now, those are that's really a great time to start retinol. I would also say like, you know, if you're beyond those ages and you haven't started retinol yet, like don't worry, now is the second best time to start your retinal journey. So let me quickly go over the benefits of retinal because there's so many and that's really why I predict it to be this huge ingredient this year because it makes your skincare so simple by covering so many benefits fine lines and wrinkles. That's the one it's best known for. That's the one we kind of already talked about. It signals to your skin to act younger and to produce more collagen and more elastin. It also is really great for hyperpigmentation. It's a very effective brightening ingredient. It can target hyperpigmentation, dark marks, sun damage on the skin. By the way, sun damage is also something you might start to see emerging in your late 20s, early 30s, and beyond. So a retinol is actually a really effective ingredient to help to target some of that discoloration on the skin skin. It's also very helpful for like a texture on your skin, lots of congestion or bumpy skin because it helps to shed those dead skin cells, which can contribute to that congestion. It's also very helpful, as I mentioned earlier, for acne prone skin because of the dead skin cell shedding uh, process, but also because it helps to regulate sebum on the skin. It's an anti-inflammation ingredient. So um, all of those things together make it a very effective anti-acne ingredient. So did you know that retinol is not the only only skincare ingredient that's derived from vitamin A. So it's actually part of a bigger class of ingredients called retinoids. There's about six different ones here. And um, I'm only going to cover a few of them because quite honestly, many of them are only available through a prescription from your doctor, from your dermatologist. But I am going to cover more than just retinol alone. It's not the only way to get those vitamin A benefits into your skincare routine. Let's talk about products. I first want to start off with my suggestion for those of you who have never tried retinol in your skincare routine before. These are going to be very gentle, low percentages that are going to help your skin adjust to retinol. So first up is the Innisfree Retinol Sika Moisture Recovery Serum. And I really love this. Uh, if you've never tried retinol before, if you have very sensitive skin, this is a really beautiful formulation that 
combines retinol, which can traditionally be a rather harsh ingredient that's very drying on the skin, that can be quite irritating on the skin, and it combines it with centella or Sika. Now, centella is so well known for soothing irritation, inflammation, and redness on the skin. It's a very calming skincare ingredient. So I love that it's been paired with retinol. That's why I think it's actually such a great beginner serum because it really helps your skin adapt with minimal irritation. Now, if you're somebody with sensitive skin who's thinking about retinol, especially for the anti-acne benefits, I would actually suggest that you let, take a look at the serum because it does have a very small percentage of salicylic acid in it, which also helps with the breakouts, as you know. So I think this is a great beginner serum, sensitive skin serum, but also a great way to start your anti-acne journey with retinol. And I really like the texture of this. It is a true serum texture. It's got some hydration to it. It feels really great on the skin. It's really easy to add into your routine. Just replace your normal serum with this. Another product that I like for retinal beginners is the Stradia Night Shift Moisturizer. I think this is really easy to add into your routine. This just replaces your moisturizer a couple nights a week, but the formulation here is really smart. Again, for beginners or those with very sensitive skin who are worried about the side effects of retinol. Again, a very drying kind of harsh ingredient on the skin. This has been formulated alongside a ceramides, cholesterol, and fatty acids to keep your skin barrier strong and to to resist the, the really harsh dryness on the skin. Now the retinol in this product has been encapsulated in lipid spheres. Now this is great for a couple of reasons. Number one, it keeps the retinol really potent and efficacious, meaning that it's going to work really well for your skin. But because it's in a lipid sphere, it's encapsulated, it actually slowly penetrates the skin. This is a good thing because that helps to resist the, the side effects and the irritation. It doesn't just like hit your skin right away and just go bam irritation it's slow release so it's actually gentler but it means that you're getting that like all those retinal benefits a little bit longer as you're sleeping and as your skin is kind of regenerating as you're resting so i think that the formulation here is incredibly smart i really like it for beginners because it takes some of the guesswork out of how to add retinal into your routine like i said just replace your moisturizer with this nice medium weight moisturizer that's not too heavy it's not really greasy and it's got a lot of your barrier care covered in here too. It's really easy to add into your routine. But even if you're somebody who is used to using retinol um, and you wanna just add in maybe like a booster product into your routine on the nights that you're not using your more potent retinol or maybe you're even on prescription tretinoin, I really like this to kind of keep the benefits going, but because it's gentler in this moisturizer format, you are not getting as harsh a side effects if you were to up your uh, prescription usage. So it's a really versatile type of product. Next, let's move on to suggestions for intermediate retinal users. Maybe you've used it in the past, you're ready to kind of step your game up a little bit, your skin is well adjusted to lower percentages. So the first product I wanna talk about is from Biosense. It's their Squalene and Retinal Night Serum. Now this is interesting because we do have retinal here in the serum combined with retinaldehyde or AKA retinal, spelled with an A. <laughs> you know how I always try to make that distinction for you. These are are two different forms of retinoids. These are both derived from vitamin A and retinaldehyde or retinal actually is more potent than retinal. It works a little bit faster. It's a little bit stronger on the skin. And so this is definitely a great intermediate serum because you can see how we're kind of upping the retinal or the vitamin A power in this serum. But this is also a really nice gentle formulation. Although the retinal is stronger here, we do have some great skin soothing um, uh, ingredients in here. The squalene really helps to maintain moisture on the skin. So important when you're starting your retinoid journey because it can be, I can't emphasize this enough, it can be very drying on your skin. So I like the moisturizing balance in this serum without making it too heavy. It's got a really nice cream texture to it. I was very surprised by the the uh, texture here, but pleasantly so because it really does infuse the skin with some really nice moisture that doesn't feel really greasy. It's not very heavy. It's still a true serum type of weight on the skin, but it feels really comforting um, for a retinal type of product. Another great product for intermediate users of retinol is the Clasarex V Retinol 0.1% Cream. Now, this is interesting. We know the amount of retinol here, 0.1%. I know it doesn't sound like a lot, 
but it's a good amount, trust me. This is interesting because it combines retinol with a couple forms of vitamin C. We have the pure ascorbic acid form of vitamin C along with a stabilized form. So this has some additional brightening properties to it. And I think that's what you can expect from this. Of course, all the other benefits that we talked about with retinol still stand, but it's always important to look at some of the supporting ingredients in any retinol product that you're looking at because that's gonna tell you what the formula is really targeting on the skin and you can see that this one is really helping with brightening the skin and now this is a little bit of a different um, format for retinol than we've talked about so far this is what I call a cream treatment uh, step so this isn't necessarily replacing your serum if you don't want it to this is definitely not a moisturizer replacement this is something that you want to put on in a very small restrained amount like a pea sized amount you don't want to over apply something like this because it is actually going to irritate the skin quite a bit if you put too much on a little bit goes a long way so just a little pea sized amount of this spread thinly all over your face before your moisturizer that's where you want to layer this into your skincare routine the cream texture is not too heavy so even if you have oily skin I don't think that this is going to overwhelm you at all um, but that's where I would put it in my skincare routine is just before your moisturizer next up I want to talk about retinal products for advanced users now this is also from Cosrx. This is the retinal 0.5% oil. Now this is a new format. We haven't talked about that yet in the video. This is actually a true oil texture as well. It's a medium weight oil on the skin and it does have a nice moisturizing property to it. But I have to admit to you with the higher percentage of retinol here and really no other supporting like soothing or barrier building types of ingredients in here, I do find this formula can be a little bit harsh on the skin if you aren't going to be using any other nourishing or soothing skincare. Now, I am speaking from the experience of having sensitive skin, um, so that's just me personally, but I just wanna put that out there. If you're an advanced user, you already know how your skin does with retinol, but I do find this to be slightly harsher on the skin if you were to like only use this with a moisturizer, so maybe building in a nice um, barrier supportive or soothing, maybe a centella-based serum would be really great right before this. And again, um, the, the application method for this would just be like a regular oil I would suggest putting this on underneath your moisturizer um, just so that you can get the really good retinal benefits um, a little closer to your skin than if you were to apply it on top but you certainly could apply it on top to kind of help buffer things um, and make it a little less harsh on the skin another retinal product to consider for advanced users is the inky list 1% retinal serum now this is part of their super solutions line and I do want to make the distinction that there is another retinal retinal serum from Inkylist that has a very small um, a percentage of retinol. That's not bad, but it's not going to be what I would suggest for an advanced user. The 1% from the Super Solutions line is what you want to look at if you are looking for a more potent retinol product. I personally find this to be a rather harsh formulation. And when I say harsh, I think you kind of know me by now. Even if this is the first time watching a video from me, I think you're kind of getting a vibe of what I personally like in skincare formulations. I like something a little bit more complex. I like some hydrating, moisturizing ingredients, maybe some skin soothing ingredients alongside of my retinol. If it's not in that formula, then I'm gonna suggest using it with other products layered with your retinol. This is a very, very basic formulation here. It's really just about getting this high percentage of retinol into your skin. and. I, when I was testing it out, I actually found it really harsh. So I just wanna put that out there that you definitely wanna have a really great moisturizer um, with this. And definitely if you like more nourishing skincare products, make sure that you're building those in with separate products if you're gonna go for something like this. But I find this to be, um, I mean, really potent. It is a cream treatment texture. So this is again, something you wanna put towards the end of your skincare routine, just underneath your moisturizer. And um, I think it can be very, very effective. This is something that they're gearing more towards acne prone skin um, and those who are struggling with scars. Um, so if that is your, your skin goals that you're trying to achieve, this could be the right product for you. And I have a third suggestion in the advanced category, and it's actually not a retinal at all. It is a dapoline, which is a prescription strength retinoid. This is the La Roche-Posay Adapalene Gel 0.1% Acne Treatment. Now, this is going to 
be far more potent than the retinol and the retinal that we've talked about so far, right? Adapalene is a prescription strength retinoid, and it really is more targeted towards acne prone skin. That doesn't mean that you're not going to get the collagen stimulating and elastin stimulating abilities. You're going to get all the same retinoid or vitamin A benefits from this, but because it is so much harsher on the skin, because it's so more potent, um, it may not be the right choice if your main goal is the well aging. You know, if you don't have goals for fighting acne and breakouts on the skin, I wouldn't necessarily go for this. I don't think that like stronger is necessarily better in this case. Um, the name suggests that it is an acne treatment. That is really what it is. So if you're not targeting that, then I would, I would honestly suggest looking elsewhere. If you are targeting acne though, this is one of the most potent, I personally think one of the most potent uh, retinoids that you can get without a prescription. And it is a treatment gel. So in your skincare routine, you would actually put a very small pea sized amount, restrained amount, thin layer spread evenly across your skin right before your moisturizer. And again, I find this a little bit harsh on the skin, so you may want to think about building in your nourishing skincare products prior to this with like your serums and toners and making sure that you have a really nice moisturizer that's suited for your skin type because the side effects of something like this can be uh, quite drying and a little bit irritating. You might even experience some peeling on your skin with something like this. So just make sure the rest of your skincare routine supports that so you can achieve just to a very potent retinoid like this easily. So those are the more traditional ways to get a retinoid into your skincare routine, but there's other formats out there that I think deserve a shout out. Now let's talk about the eye area, because one thing I have not mentioned in this video is you do really don't want to be putting your full strength retinal products around the eye area. As you know, that skin is thinner, it's more delicate, more prone to irritation. It just behaves different than the rest of your skin. So all the products that I've talked about already Already, I really would not suggest you bringing them all the way up to the eye area or on top of your lids to help avoid that irritation. Now, if you want the benefits of a retinoid in that area, because honestly, who doesn't, right? I would suggest picking up a dedicated retinal eye cream. One of my favorites is from Beauty of Chasson. It is the Revive Eye Serum Ginseng Plus Retinol. So this is ret retinol to hide, not retinol spelled with an O. Remember, that is a little bit more potent than retinol. Um, I really like this because it is, has a really nice uh, gel cream type of texture to it. It's kind of plumping. I find it to be uh, fairly gentle. I do think that you might have a little bit of an adaptation with this product. It may not be something that you can use every single night in your skincare routine, but I do find it to be uh, very, very effective, but still gentle on the skin. It's a very helpful for brightening up the under eye area and targeting fine lines and wrinkles. Plus it comes in a little bit of a bigger tube and the texture itself is not like a traditional cream texture. If you wanted to, you could actually put this all over your face as a face treatment. And this is something that I would probably put probably in the beginner to intermediate section of the video. So this could actually be an alternative to some of the other products we talked about for a full face treatment. But if you want to target more delicate areas like the eyes, this is great. I also quickly want to mention, this is a great product to pull down on your neck and chest. Full strength retinol uh, can be, again, irritating, can cause peeling, can cause a lot of redness and inflammation on uh, areas that behave different than the face. So again, another gentler option that might help you sidestep some ugly <laughs> side effects on your neck and chest. Another retinal eye product is the Peace Out Retinal Eye Stick. And I think that this is such a cool format for retinol because this is, again, formulated a lot more gentle for the under eye area and I love the the texture of this because it is more of an oil balmy type of texture it's almost like like a really soft chapstick for underneath your eyes now you may be like mm, that sounds kind of odd but quite honestly this texture is so good for staying put um, because I can't tell you how many times I have put something like a retinal eye cream on only for it to travel further down my face maybe potentially causing unwanted irritation in other areas 
areas. And the worst thing is if it kind of gets into your eye, right? This slightly thicker formula stays uh, put on your face and it doesn't travel as easily. So this is something that is actually really great for travel, um, but it's just something really great to start off with if you're not really sure how to just kind of keep the retinol in one place on your face. Now, if you like the idea of a retinal stick format, but you want something a little bit stronger for maybe the rest of your face, you're in luck. Peace Out has you covered with their retinal face stick. Now, the formulation here is very similar to the eye stick. We have retinal and bakuchiol, which is a really great brightening ingredient, and it's a really nice pair with retinal. Um, so we have that, but we actually have a higher percentage of retinal in here than we do with the gentler formulation for under the eyes. So they're using a 3% encapsulated retinal. So again, that's the retinal inside of a lipid sphere. It doesn't equal out to exactly 3% of retinal, um, but it is a lot stronger than the eye cream. And this is really cool uh, if you want to target retinal on certain areas instead of a full face application. You certainly could do that with this. This is actually a great way to travel with retinal because it's liquid free, right? But this is actually really great if you want to target some uh, specific areas on your face like maybe it's the nasal labial fold it's like that little line from here to here right you could target that with the stick and not necessarily put it anywhere else as we we're talking about the the balmy kind of format of this helps it stay put you could target maybe lines on your forehead this is also something maybe you want to target like some neck lines without doing like a full retinal cream that can cause so much irritation just target it in the area that you need it and finally i want to talk about the innisfree retinal sika focusing patch now you know i love these these are so cool because these are micro dart pimple patches so these are not the type the pimple patches that suck the liquid from your um, pimples although those are awesome these actually have the tiniest little micro darts that are full of concentrated retinol and centella and salicylic acid really similar similar formula to the serum that we talked about right at the beginning of the video for beginners this is really cool to target really inflamed pimples that would uh, benefit from some retinol because remember retinol helps with inflammation it helps with redness and and it can really help with acne prone skin alongside a centella which soothes and reduces redness and inflammation as well on the skin and salicylic acid which can dive deep into your pores and help to exfoliate deep with from within in those micro dart format it goes down to the core of the pimple it's just like a tiny little pin prick it doesn't really hurt all that much you just press it right into the the really swollen pimple and it gets down to the core of it and it really helps to reduce the size and the swelling overnight i love these they're very effective they're kind of pricey but for those you know stubborn pimples that just won't do anything these are incredibly helpful so i'm curious have you started your retinal journey yet yes or no let me know all about it in the comment box below now if this video helped you answer the question is now the right time to start a retinal but you are not subscribed to my channel please i would be so honored if you would hit subscribe before you go i release a lot of new videos throughout the week including including long form videos and shorts. So turn on notifications so you're never out of the loop. Thank you for being here with me today. I love you so much. I hope you are healthy, happy, and safe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.